To create a seating chart by tracing an image, start by creating a new simple seating chart and when prompted, upload the image into the designer. First, you'll need to calibrate the designer to your image so that the system understands the spacing between seats and rows. Click to place a marker over one of the seats in the image. Make sure the edges match. Click to mark at least four seats to help calibrate. You can use the toggle at the bottom to adjust the size. When you're ready, click Next. You'll be provided a duplicate row and asked to move it so that it's parallel with the previous one. This helps calibrate the distance between rows in your image. When you're happy, click Next. Use the same row and multiple rows tools to start tracing the seats in your image. The calibration should have set up the designer so that the spacing between seats and rows accurately matches the reference image below. Next, label and categorise your seats. Use the Select tool to select the first block of rows you want to label. This will bring up the category and row menu on the right hand side. Update the row labelling. You can choose between alphabetical, numerical or Roman numeral labels. Then select your seat labelling. Before you finish, you need to set a category for all of your seats. In this case, we can just create one called Reserved Seating. To do this, deselect any seats in your chart and click the Manage button next to the Categories header. Then click Create a New Category and enter the name of your new category. Click out of the text field to save it. Once you have all of your categories created, select the relevant seats from your seating chart and select the related category from the menu on the right. Once the category has been applied, you'll see the seats change colour to match the category. If you want to display your reference image on your customer facing seating chart, you can upload it underneath the background header on the right side. You can adjust the size using the percentage toggle. If you don't see any errors in red on the right hand side, your seating chart is ready to use. Make sure to give it a name in the top left corner and click X to leave the designer. To add your seating chart to an event, open the events tab in your dashboard and click add new event or open one you've previously created. Add your event details or open edit event and tickets. Scroll down to Create Ticket Types and click Use Seating Chart. Select the relevant seating chart from the drop-down menu. You can choose whether or not you'll allow your ticket buyers to leave single seats available. Click Save Settings. You should see a new button appear called Add Seated Ticket Type, which means your seating chart is connected to your event. Enter your ticket name, price and quantity, but note that the quantity must be at least the number of seats available under the categories selected in your chart. Tick which seat category should have this price. You can have multiple ticket types assigned to each seating chart category. For example, 
I might assign an adult ticket to my reserved seating seats and then repeat the process to assign a child ticket to those same seats. Repeat the above steps for each ticket type you want to sell. In this event preview page, you can see how your ticket types will be listed along with your seating chart.